everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is my second drill with me for my Peacock uh, Circular Drill. It's um, a 40 by 65 centimeter long. Yeah, it's right there. I finally got my stand in. So you can actually see what I'm doing and I'm not propping it up on a box of, <laughs> what was I using last time? A box of um, paper towels. Gosh, yeah. Okay, so I have a setup currently where I will put out two, maybe three. I can do up to four, I don't like to. But then I have numbered all of my little containers and I kind of put them in order. So, like I have, this is W, which is 3722. And I have it over here facing me. And then right after that, I have Z, 772 and then you probably can't see that because my hands in the way there's a two so if I start to get confused I have an order that everything's in and then on my main tray which is my good tray I have L which is a beautiful color I love it so I'm trying what I've been doing is going all the way around the sides and the edges to go around the beautiful swan which I'll probably I don't I don't know everybody I see kind of does sections where they'll do this section take down this section take down this section and i kind of like to go from the outside back in <coughs> excuse me my family has a cold um but anyways so i figured i would try and get at least in around today um yeah so i have a cute pen that i got this is not the cutest little thing ever it's a little penguin in my heart i don't know what it's supposed to be but he looks like a little penguin and I think he's the cutest thing ever. And so when I am not um, doing my multi-lays, I'm gonna use my cute little penguin. So once again, like I said, this is L817. It is a beautiful, beautiful red color and it's part of the flowers. Now, my same complaint from last time that the stickiness of this is driving me crazy. The pad, especially if my hand has ever hit it, which of course it has, uh, the stickiness just comes right off and I sit there and even trying to push it like this, like the drill will come back off and it drives me completely insane. My other problem with this canvas is as you can see, I sat this under a super heavy um, picture frame, like heavy picture frame, I took it off the wall. And it sat under there for, gosh, probably about 48 hours. And it still just crinkles. It drives me insane. And I do not have the patience to let it sit for days and days and days and days. So, yeah, I don't know. I really kind of want to return it still. It brings me joy to do it. But at the same time, it is such a pain. And I mean, it really wasn't crazy expensive but to me this is the most expensive diamond painting I've gotten I mean it's also the biggest so yeah but still I mean this is the most expensive one I've gotten and if I'm spending what I mean it's my hard-earned money my family's hard-earned money on something I want it to be enjoyable and I want it to be a good product and it's not like I ordered this from AliExpress or anything. I ordered this off of Amazon, which I know has Chinese sellers. And this is very obviously a Chinese seller. It's got Chinese all over it. But I've also gotten other things that are much cheaper off of Amazon. And even directly from places like AliExpress. See, is that all my L's? Oops, oops, there's one down there. And I have had none of the problems that I have had with this one. And that drives me kind of insane because I could have gone, let me put that aside for now. And I have gone, so what did I say? This was W? Yes. I have gone to other places. I've gotten much cheaper canvases from cheaper uh, distributors, sellers, and they've worked better. But the problem is I went back and I looked at all the reviews and there are so many reviews on this and they're all good. Everybody likes it. Let's see. Do not see any. I see V's. I don't see W's. Oh, there's some. So I'm kind of baffled of was everybody else new? Did they not know what they were doing? Is it just because it's such a pretty canvas? I really try and do my research before I buy stuff because 
And I have a pile of all the bad drills. There are a fair amount, once again, for something that I paid, I mean, more money for than I would have um, for some of my other ones. This has definitely not been the most impressive and will not get the best review ever for me. I really try and not be mean with my reviews online because it is somebody's business. Let's see, once again. Another bad one. Sorry if you can see that. I'm moving kind of fast. I just, I paid good money for something. It's not like I bought it in a back alley. I bought it from a district, like a reputable source. I didn't even realize where it was coming from necessarily. You kind of assume they're all coming from China, but so I've gotten other stuff. This one's very nice. Okay, so this is 3772Z. It is like a dark tan coffee-ish. I'm not good with naming colors, so. <laughs> but oh, my little pen is so cute. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. This is a, did I get it off Wish? Probably off of Wish. It was one of those ones where they're like, free for shipping. I was like, yes, please, you got me. Well, if you watched my last drill with me, you'll know that I am obsessed with penguins obsessed and I got to meet some this weekend at my niece's birthday party at a zoo it's an accredited zoo and they actually breed the uh, the penguins there they're South African penguins they're Jack ASS penguins <laughs> and that cracks me up that there's a penguin called that to start with which once again the reason they're called that is because they are very loud and vocal which is normally when they're happy, but apparently it can be very annoying. And so the locals are calling them Jack A penguins, which endears them even more to me. But I, anything I see that has a penguin on it, I guess this probably isn't even supposed to be a penguin. I don't know what it would be, but oh my gosh, I love it. Well, it was back in the day, so I'm in my 30s. Um, so back in the 90s, oh, look, there's a W. Um, I saw a Z over here. Go back, put one of these over there. Back in the 90s, there was um, Pachaco, which is Japanese, not Chinese, but Pachaco was kind of, it's like Hello Kitty. It's actually the same realm of Hello Kitty, just a different universe, I guess you could call it, if you wanted to call it something. Kind of like Marvel vs. DC, that kind of stuff. And Pachaco had a friend that was a penguin, that was an angry penguin. That, my gosh, I can't remember what his name is now, but super, super cute. Loved him. He was adorable. And I used to have a little pen, kind of like this, that was an actual pen pen. And I had a little um, pencil box that looked like him, but angrier and black. Okay, let's see. Do I have any more Z's over here? Sorry, gosh, I'm about to just turn the overhead light on. I have the natural light. But with the way my house is positioned, it doesn't give me the best lighting for this. So let's see. Did I get them all? I thought that there would have been more of those. Are there not? Oh. Well, that made that easy. So that is all of those Zs. So what I then do is I go through and take my boxes. And I put my colors away before moving on to the next one. And it kind of helps to do at least two at a time because if you don't put them away right away, if you miss one and you've moved on to the next color, you don't go, gosh, oh, now i got to get out the other one or I have to remember to find this one later. Ooh, I've got some escaping ones. It just makes life a little easier, especially for people like me who are a little impatient and I like to move quickly. And I'm sure that there are missed ones on here anyways and I'm going to have to go back through. But oh, this L is such a beautiful color. I really thought that there were going to be more of them. I did a bunch of it yesterday, which is probably what the problem is. Ah, you go in here. But anyways, so there's this whole realm of adorable, adorable little Asian characters from, gosh, everywhere under the sun over there. They love, 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 love that stuff. And I love them because they love that stuff. I know way too much about all that anime and 
manga and mangua if it's Korean stuff. So those are, so I basically do boxes, which you probably already saw, which is nice because then I can organize them very easily. This one has 39 colors. So I have two of these boxes and I keep them in order so I can go through and find them. The numbering is actually pretty good on this because it's numbers and then letters and then symbols. So this is actually very well put together. Um, let's see, so what color should we do now? Let's go with K, which I think I already had because I was next to L, so we'll do K in one. So it's 814. What a nice burgundy color. I really like that one. That one, and I think it's two. Two is a more darker purple version. Love that color. So we've got K, and then Ooh, let's do Q. Q is a nice, easy one to find. You guys can probably even see. There we go. Which is 3350. We'll put that in two. I have not used my double yet today. That's pretty cool. Already running low on those. Those are so pretty, too. The coloring on this is so pretty, which is the only reason I haven't contacted Amazon, packed it up, shipped it back, because... Lord knows I am beyond frustrated with this. Maybe we'll do one, the ones, because it is also a pretty pink. We'll just go with the three different tones. So it's 512, which is actually, I like this color a lot. It is a very pretty color. We've got a rogue one in there. Hopefully you guys can see this. I have my camera set up with the main camera on so I can't actually see if you guys are seeing anything that I am hopefully I tried to position it take a peek yeah it looks like it's still in focus so that's good so hopefully the colors are showing up for you guys at least some oh that is a really pretty color so I guess let's go with one then Ooh, oh I can do my multi yay my favorite thing in the entire world I have a nine and a four and I just uh, re well, I didn't redo that one because I just did that one, but you can see it's overlaid still. But I don't know if you can see that real well, but there are ridges on it because I've used it so much. Hopefully I didn't put everything out of focus. Okay. I use it so much that it is starting to indent on itself. Now let's see. My problem always. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I need six. My biggest problem with this entire painting especially with this one. I have never had this big of a problem. I got this with um, the Elsa painting that I did that I did not do drill with me because I didn't know that I wanted to do this yet. <gasps> Yay, it actually went down. And it just, I had, it, Elsa was just black at the top. So I just vroom, 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 and went. And hardly ever would anything stick and not come off on this. Oh my gosh, I'm just doing it. Half of them go on, half of them stay on. I don't know what's going on with it. It drove me insane. So doing like this entire section took probably twice as long as it should have. And then they're popping out, which I mean, I know part of it's the wave, but still it's just, oh, I have so many qualms with this. It's, I love to hate this picture. Oh, it drives me insane. Has anybody else ever had this problem? What did you do? Did you just suck it up and keep going? I don't want to stop loving this because it gets hard to do. I mean, I'm pretty far into it. Excuse me, I work really fast though, which is also a problem, which is why I was like, well, I ponied up some to get a bigger one that seemed to be nice and had really nice reviews so that hopefully it would last me longer and I would really enjoy it. And I wouldn't finish it in a day or two. <laughs> like, I know joke. I work on these for hours a day. Like, this is what I'll do while my daughter is currently watching her morning television. I'll do it during nap time if I have time. I do it in the evening in the basement. I have a setup, which trying to record is not going to happen because the lighting is so bad down there. I can barely see. And then it almost hurts my eyes to use my under light thing. Because it's so bright compared to the low light of the... Oh, it's, it's bad. <laughs> it 
it is just bad. Not conducent with good recording, especially. It's probably really bad for my eyes to do, too. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, I just I love this. I want to keep it forever. It's so pretty. Let's see. Here's one. Oh, I turned him away from me. No, he needs to look at everybody. Say hello. Sorry, I am such a dork. <laughs> it's the little things in life, right? Oh, man. So, yeah, I'm trying to think. What else? I have uh, to do some drop-offs today. Um, the kids have a dentist appointment. One, two, three, four, five. The kids have a dentist appointment today. So I got to get them to that. But then after that, my son has his private gymnastics class. He really wants to learn to do a backflip. He is six. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. And my kids go and see this absolutely amazing little, like she just does eight and under kids for gymnastics. They love it. Um, my son also dances. He loves it. He thinks it's the best thing in the entire world. He asked me, Mommy, from the time he was four, can I dance forever? And I cry a little. And you're like, yes, you can dance forever. Just I love that you love something. But one of the little girls is like, I, she could be an Olympian if she wanted to. This kid is amazing at everything she does, gymnastics, dance, all that stuff. But little Jay started doing flips. And so then my son was like, whoa, what do you mean she gets to do flips? I want to do flips, so. I said, okay, well, you gotta practice, and since we already go to gymnastics to start with, okay. It's very affordable, it was so much cheaper than I thought it was gonna be, so I was like, if you wanna take a couple classes, just by yourself. So he's got his cartwheel down pat, which I did not realize that cartwheels would be something the kids had to like legitimately learn how to do. I don't know about you, so I'm, I'm a very naturally athletic person. I played every sport under the sun, and I was good at all of them. I was that kid, I mean, to toot my horn, I'm that kid that was always aged up with the older kids because I was just good at it. I did, I, yeah, I, I did everything. And then I ended up with soccer, and I played soccer for pff, ever. 24 <laughs> 24-7, 365 days a year for most of my childhood, I had cleats on. So, I don't really want that for my kids, but, you know, if it's something they love, we can talk about it. <laughs> but he really likes dancing, so both my kids dance, and then they both wanted to do tumbling, so then we're doing tumbling. And then off of that, let's see if I said Q. Yeah. And then off of that, he wanted to learn to do all the flips and stuff. And I never got past a back walkover. Or no, I did front walk. I got to front walkovers. I can do a front walkover, which is where you basically, instead of doing a cartwheel on your side, you just go forward and your legs flip over the back of your head and you just kind of, yeah. You, you do a forward walkover versus a back walkover, which would turn into a back flip or a front walkover. It turns into a front flip. So I never got past that because I stopped because I started getting bullied. Like I said, they would age me up because I was really good. I'm just naturally athletic is what it is. There's lots of stuff I am not good at. Sports, flexibility, all that stuff. That is something I am good at. And from a young age, they would tell my parents, they're like, no, 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 we want her in this class, we want her in this class, we want her in this class. And so they switched my gym to a better gym, and oh, I guess I shouldn't say better, a more competitive gym, and then I was, you know, all over the place. And I stopped wanting to go to gymnastics because the girls would make fun of me because they didn't like me because I was like two or three years younger than all of them, and yet I was still better than them. <laughs> So I was, I remember I went home and I was driving with my mom home in the van and I started crying and I told her I don't want to go back. And my mom was just like flabbergasted. She had no idea why. And when I told her why, she said, okay, well, you know, you never have to go back. And we never did. I never went back for another thing. I don't know if my mom called them and told them why or anything, but that's the end of my gymnastics was 
It was pretty quick in the grand scheme of life. I didn't do it for very long. I learned a lot, and I still remember a lot of it. I can't do 90% of it because I am in my 30s and I cannot be flipping my body around and bending it and stuff. And uh, I think my mom might still have my uneven bar uh, gloves. So I have little gloves that go over these two fingers and it's so that there's just the fabric right here. And that's for the uneven bars because... I mean, if you have ever done monkey bars before, your hands start to get calloused and they hurt. Well, imagine doing that, but you're flipping over and over and over and over on a bar continually because they want you to practice. Yeah, my, I remember that. My palms bled a couple times. That was not so fun. Other than getting injured, I never really bled playing soccer. So, yeah, just throwing that out there. I was not a dancer, though. Both of my kids dance which my daughter is a free spirit dancer is what I like to call her. My little princess dances and dances and dances to the beat of her own drum and she is happy about it. And following directions is not necessarily her favorite. I was joking with one of the dance mom friends that I have at the studio that I wasn't sure that she was gonna be my dancer. <laughs> and she laughed because she knows exactly what I meant. My daughter, my kids did the Nutcracker this year, and my daughter, bless her little heart, spun around in a circle a couple times, fell over on stage all four times. I mean, she's four. She's little, but still. Oh my gosh, the owner's daughter is so cute. She was in high school. She was Clara. She's a senior. And she also helps with the choreography. And you just hear her calling my daughter's name. <laughs> nope. My little princess. She's just off spinning in her own world. And she can do it. And she's actually she's very talented too as well. But she doesn't want to be. It's not something she wants to do. Which is fine. She is my little soccer superstar though. Kara, are you my little soccer superstar? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's my baby. She takes after her mama. She's very, very, very good at soccer, just like me. Once again, it's, it's natural athleticism. There's some things that if you try really hard at, you will get to be good at. And that's just, you know, that's you try and you get better. But there's a thing that is just natural talent at things. You will not be naturally good at everything. There are some people who are more naturally good at things than others. But in general, if you are just naturally inclined to something, it will come easier to you. Things like coordination, balance, that kind of stuff. Myself and my daughter, we have that in spades. And she is also left-footed, so she will, if she wanted to play soccer, she wouldn't even have to be that good. Anybody would take her because she's left-footed. <laughs> but... I don't know what she's not good at yet, but there will be something. What color did this one go to? You're gonna go in the pile of missing ones then. Let's see, ooh, let's do six. Six is 309. So 309, of course, most of these are red. Let's do... Maybe tea? Let's go with tea. I'm trying to stay away from the middle because then it just spreads out and my, ugh, I just want to do everything then. So tea is 3688. 3688. Ooh, that is such a pretty pink. You go there, you go there. You probably can't see it, but off on the side, I, I line everything up because I really want to make sure I don't look at something and go, okay. Where did you go? <laughs> Let's see, maybe five? Do I want to just do you and be done with it? No, let's go with five. Gosh, my voice sounds horrible today. Um, no, let's not do it because five is next to six, which is right next to each other. And I don't like doing the same one because then it gets confusing. Um... Do, 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 do. Let's see. I don't know, guys. Who 
Okay, well maybe just do you then. There's my use. I've pulled everything out and it's all over the place, so you, you, you. No, of course you use with the <laughs> with the T. Oh man. Oh, there we go. Let's do dollar signs. Okay, the dollar sign. Three eight five eight. Then after this, maybe I'll cut the video and I'll keep going. But I won't make it a thousand hours long. Oh yeah, we're already at 26 minutes. So let me do this part. This will be my longest video then. Ooh. So let me get through this real quick. And then I will cut the video. And I might just start recording the next one because, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, so... Yeah, I mean... Some people are just naturally inclined to have good memories, they're good public speakers, they're good writers, singers, you know, artists in general. Some people are athletic, some people are just very in tune to emotions, some people are good. Yeah, like everybody is good at something. I don't get the mindset that somebody is just bad at everything or they're you know they're only good at this one thing and then this it's not fair because of you know xyz and this person and that person and it's just like no it's not the way the world works you have to find what you can do and what you're good at and you know as long as it's healthy because i'm not you know not everything you're going to be good at is healthy for you to do 24 7 and all that stuff actually you probably shouldn't do anything 24 7 but if you can find something that you love that you're good at or something your kids are good at and cultivate it, I don't understand how that could ever be a bad thing as long as you keep the mindset of it appropriate. What I mean by appropriate is I am a very competitive person and I have to watch myself that I don't emulate that off to my kids because I want them to be perfect at something or the best at something or because I mean here I am talking about oh my daughter's so good at this. My daughter's so good at that. When, I mean, as long as, especially if it's a child, as long as they're having fun, it shouldn't really matter whether, I mean, you should want them to be good at it or at least able to do it, but it shouldn't be the deciding factor. What should actually matter is how much they like it and how much joy and satisfaction they get off of it. Not so much whether it's something that they are actually good at. There are people, oh, I sit online too much, and I read blogs and forums and follow Twitter threads and Facebook posts and everything under the sun that I shouldn't. And sometimes I just read stuff and it just makes me sad that this is the way people feel and this is how they treat their kids or this is how they look down at other people and how they're raising their kids and it's just kids have enough stress as it is if you think about it you are trying to learn about the world you are trying to learn the rules of what you are and are not allowed to do understanding all the social constructs in the world while also learning all about the world, having to learn to read and write and do math and be a sponge for everything else under the sun and to then have to go and be good at everything else at the same time. And it's just extracurricular activities, especially for super little kids like I have. I just... Like I said, I'm I'm I am part of the problem too. I am no saint. I am not saying other people to other people that I am perfect the way I do it is how everybody should do it. But my main mantra right now is are they enjoying it? And then do they want to Oh gosh, did I do the wrong color? I just did R's instead of T's, didn't I? No. <laughs> oh, I was talking instead of paying attention. I will finish with this one nonsense. A child, the likelihood that a child is going to play a sport or an instrument or dance or whatever professionally for a living when they grow up 
is this big. It's a big, tiny, tiny, tiny little amount. So making that their entire life and making that the end all be all of their life is not even just damaging, it's wasteful of their lives. There are more important things in life and the likelihood that a kid is going to be on an Olympic team, is going to play professionally anything, it's going to be on Broadway, is going to make it in Hollywood. It's just it's so low. And sometimes we lose the fact that you're only a kid for a short period of time. And if you can't enjoy your childhood because you're too stressed out over doing something that in the end should be enriching your life, not stressing you out, then yeah, it's a problem. Okay. I'm going to get off my soapbox and I'm going to go pick off all of the teas that I put in the R spots. <laughs> Why? I was talking. I was having a revelation. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye.